Hey, welcome back to Let's Play Guitar. Today we're gonna check out how to play the A team by Ed Sheeran. This is one of his first songs that he released, so it's a really good one. And to play this on the guitar, you'll need a capo on the second fret, and that way we are in the same key as the original track. Let's get right into it. This song uses a lot of finger picking, and we're gonna talk about all of that. All right, then let's see how to play the intro, the way it's played in the original track. It starts off like this. So he's starting off with G major. Now in this song, we're mostly using the upper strings, not really going on the first string that much. So uh, as you can see on G, I'm just using third fret on top string and second fret on fifth string, All right? And the rest of the notes are open, open on fourth string, third string, and second string. First, in the intro, we're not using any percussion. So what we're doing is, So here we're picking the top string, then we pick third string and fourth string together. All right, and then so this is string number six, four, five, three. So if you put that all together, you'll have. Right, that's the intro over here. So you're gonna play that three times. So one, two, three, and on the fourth count, you're just going to do. So this is just the top string, and the fourth and third strings together. Open. All right. So that's all you have on G in the intro. So if you put that all together, you have one, two. Right after that, we come D major and E minor. So you're just going to do down, up, down, up over here. Down, up, down, up. So D major is played like this. You've got second fret and second fret on third and first strings, and you've got third fret on second string. And E minor, it, you know, the first strings are open. So you just have second fret and second fret on the fifth and fourth strings. So here you're doing down, up, down on D major, and then up, you come to E minor. So just have to remove the fingers to go up, right? So down, up, down, up. So. Then you start with the percussion. And then when you start with the percussion, you're still on E minor. So you'll do this. And then you start with the verse. So you start on E minor and what you're doing is you're first picking the top string by itself. And then you're doing a down strum like this with the help of your middle finger, right? Uh, I'm doing it till the second string. But even if you go to the first string, it's all right because the chord is, it's the correct chord, all right? Down strum but what i like to do is to make this percussive as you can hear in the song you know you can hear that percussion that's in the song and it does that with with the help of his thumb and it's usually done with thumb so coming back to the intro over here uh, when we start with e minor top string strum and at the same time you can do a slap with the help of your thumb so as I told you to strum, at the same time with your thumb, you can do a slap. And what you're, do, what you're really doing is you're hitting the top string, and that string then hits the fretboard, and it makes a sound. So you go, and then, so here you again, after doing this, you again come back to the bass string, play a third string with the help of your middle finger, all right? 
Then do slap and strum again. Then at the very end, just pick the second string. So, if you put that all together, you'll get this. Right, once again. Now this is going to be really challenging if you've never played fingerstyle before. And this is also not just basic fingerstyle. This is a little advanced that I'm showing you right here. But that's just the way how the song is played. So using percussion, what we've learned so far is this. Alright, so if you put that all together for the intro. One, two, three, four. Alright. Now after that, you again do bass string and slap and strum. And then you come to C. So... that that's all there is on E minor now you come to C and then G right so on C what you're doing is so you play a C chord by having third fret on fifth string second fret on fourth string open on third string and first fret on second string right so you're picking the fifth string then you pick second and third strings together, right? Then you do a slap and strum where you're going to hit with your middle finger all these strings, right? I'm, I'm going till the second string, just a slight strum over there, and at the same time, you're going to do a slap, all right? So, and then you play second and third strings open together because that's part of G chord where we are moving to next all right so if you put that all together for the intro you've got this one two three four right that's all we have till now now you come to g and do this so this is the same way that we played on e minor uh, we're going to first pick top string by itself, then do a slap and strum. As you can see, I'm again doing the strum till the second string. All right. Then again pick top string, third string, slap and strum again, and then pick second string by itself. So, right once again. On the intro, you get this one, two, three, four. Right, that's all we've learned till now. Right after that, you do this. So, this is top string, slap and strum. Hammer on from open to second fret on third string. Do the slap by itself, all right, and then do a pull off from second fret to open on third string. All right, from the beginning once again for the intro. One, two, three. So in the very end, once again, we stopped over here. And now you start strumming again. And now we're also going to start with the verse. So. So right after that. Slap and strum again on G major. Right? So. And now you're going to play this pattern three times. One, two, three. Right? For the verse. So, you know how to play this pattern before. We've learned it in the intro. 
top, top string bass note, slap and strum on G chord, top string again, third string, slap and strum, and then second string. So, right once again, that's you know the main picking pattern that's being used in the song. It's so going to play that three times. And then it's the next time you change it to your um, G or F sharp chord. Now one other thing that I want to show you is when we played this pattern three times, like this, you can also change it to this. So the only difference was in the middle strings, what strings we are picking. So if we can change that middle third string and second string to fourth string and third string, then you'll get this. All right, so don't be confused if you see me hitting different strings. So you can also feel free to change, you know, what exact strings you wanna pick because you're on the right chord. So let's start from the very beginning, from the intro and get into the verse. What we've learned so far is this. So one, two, three, four. Now you start with the was. now so this is top string and slap and strum then you play third string by itself so now do the same thing by using second fifth on the top string so so all in all you get and then so this becomes G over F sharp chord I mean this exactly is not the F sharp note but if there were no capo, you know, this chord is called G over F sharp because you're using those three notes from the G chord and you're having the bass note change to second fret. So that becomes your G over F sharp. All right. So right after three times on the verse, one, two, three. Now we've learned this part. And then, all right. Now after that, you come to E minor. So you're going to do that pattern just one one time over here. So this is the same pattern that we've been using on G and on E minor. Top string, slap and strum. Top string, third string, slap and strum again, and then second string, all right? So then you come to C, and then you come to G again. So on C, what you're doing is, so you hold on to your C chord, third fret on fifth string, second fret on fourth string, open on third string, and first fret on second string. Pick the fifth string, do slap and strum, and then pick fifth string by itself, second string by itself. So then once again do slap and strum. Then you come to open on second string. So So let's play everything once again from the intro. And I start with the verse. G. So this is the same part that we did during the intro. First you're going to do the pattern once. So top string, slap and strum, top string, third string, slap and strum and second string. So then top string and slap and strum and then this thing again. 
So this we did back in the intro as well. Hammer on from open the second fret on third string. Slap, right? Then pull off from second to open on third string. So let's go from C. Now you're just going to go back to the lines uh, of the verse one more time. So you know, this after this part we just, are just repeating the verse lines once again. We are where we're going to do the pattern again three times on G. Same thing all over again, E minor once, and then C, back to G, and once again on G. And that completes the whole verse. So let me repeat everything from the intro to the verse. I'm going to put it all together. So in the end we came and on G and we repeated that pattern twice. One and two. Okay, now we come to the pre-chorus of the song. So now the verse is completely clear. We're gonna now come to the pre-chorus. And this is So here I think you can tell that the right hand is pretty similar to what we did in the verse. We just come to A minor 7 chord over here. So for this chord you need open on 5th string, 2nd fret on 4th string, open on 3rd string, 1st fret on 2nd string and open on 1st string. Okay, alright? Now what I hear in the song is a hint of 3rd fret on the 1st string. Alright? And when we come to C. I can also hear that first string over there as well. So that's why I like to put my little finger on third fret of the first string. All right, so if you want, you can have that as well. If you want, you can take it off. So the strum pattern is pretty similar. The bass note over here is on the fifth string because it's A minus seven. All right, pick that, slap and strum. So the strum will now be on first string as well. Then pick fifth string by itself, third string, slap and strum, then first string by itself. Alright, so you're going to do that two times. One, two. Now put third fret on fifth string to make it C major, right? And you can still have that third fret on first string. And do the same strum as picking pattern two times. All right, so and they say she's in class eight. Now you come to G, step. All right, so again you're doing the pattern two times over here. This is the same pattern that we've been using on G, so I don't need to explain it again. Same pattern that, we, that we've been using in the verse and intro, right? You can do that two times on G. And then you come to D. So here, to play this chord, you need open on fourth string, second fret on third string, and third fret on second string. Pick fourth string by itself. Do slap and strum. All right, now the strum is, I'm doing till the second string. I'm not using the first string. If you want, you can have that as well, right? Then pick fourth string, third string, slap the strum again, and then second string. So, right, 
one skein. So that's also done two times. So if you put that all together, you have this. Repeat this whole chord progression from A minus 7 to C to G D all over again. And then you come to the chorus of a song. We're gonna call this next part the chorus. In the chorus, there's a chord progression from E minor to C to G. And this chord progression is repeated six times in the chorus. So what we're doing is this. She's just Repeat all over again. So that's the chord progression from E minor to C to G. Now in E minor. So this is, we've learned this before. Top string, slap and strum. Top string. Third string, slap and strum again, and then second string. So, right? And on C, what you do is, right? So, this is fifth string, slap and strum, and fifth string, second string, slap and strum again, and second string open. So, go to G, so here G is being played two times, the same picking pattern that, we, that we've been using on G, it's also the same that we used on E minor, alright, now that's the chord progression and you're going to read that six times. So let's play all over again from the beginning six times for the chorus. your chorus. Now we start with the second verse. It's exactly the same as the first verse and you just don't need to include the intro now. So you go straight to the verse. So if you remember, you start with three times on G and then you go like this and that, right? Change the bass line. Then you come to C and then come back to G. So if you put that all together, verse number two, same as verse number one. Ripped clubs, rain cut. pre-chorus same as the one that we've learned before the first pre-chorus exactly same as that a minor to c to g to d you're gonna repeat that two times they say she's in the last day chorus one more time the whole chorus but this time in the chorus you're going to do that chord progression from E minor to C to G four times so instead of six in the first chorus you're going to do over here four times all right she's just that 
now we're going to come to the bridge of the song all right so i hope you understand in the chorus in the chorus second chorus we did that cooperation just four times now in the bridge you start with a minus seven again so that will go like this the bridge so you end on j for the second chorus let's end that second chorus first from the imana c j here's the bridge now your bridge after that you go back to the breakers so for the bridge you start on a minus 7 and go to C and this is exactly the same as we did in the pre-chorus all right so I don't need to show you the right hand because it's exactly the same as pre-chorus right same as pre-chorus put your third finger on C do that two times on a minus 7 two times on C two times on E minor and then two times on G Right, so you're gonna do that two times on each card. So one, two, do the same on C and E minor and then G. Right, the pin pattern for E minor and G are the same, the ones that we've been using for the whole song. And the pick pad from a, for A minus 7 and C is also the same as in the pre chorus. Alright, so if you've already learned the pre chorus, which I think you have by now, this will not trouble you because you know how to do the picking for each chord now. So let's play the bridge from the beginning. All of that all over again but this time you're going to a minus 7 twice C twice and then E minor will be done just one time right so E minor come to C come to G and once again on G and then once again E minor C to G and G So this picking that for E minor to C to G, the picking pattern is same as we've been doing for the chorus. Remember, the chorus also has E minor to C to G. So there's nothing to explain in that because it's same as the picking that we learned in the chorus. All right, so that completes your bridge. Now let's play everything all over again from the beginning for the bridge. to the pre-chorus play the whole pre-chorus this is now pre-chorus number three all right same as rest of the pre-choruses you can say last chorus of a song but here what you can do is the song slows down over here and all the chords are being played just once all right so you can do that you're going to pick all these chords once so you know for example for E minor for C and for G right so I'm just picking top string 
and then fourth string, third string, and second string. All of these together. So E minor, because we're all under the C. And so on C, you're not going to pick the top string, you're going to pick the fifth string instead. And then G. Go mad for a couple of rounds. Repeat all over again E minor, C, and G. Once again E minor, and then the C, come to G. E minor, C, G. For angels to fly. And now, when he says for angels to fly, right after that, you start picking and playing once again. And here the picking will be from E minor to C to G, and that will be four times. Basically, in the last chorus, what we did was we played E minor, C, we picked them just once, G, alright, and and we did that four times over, right? So G, we did this four times, picking all chords just once. The second time. Is the third time flat, soft. All right. Once again, fourth time. Soft. Now, what you're going to do is again, you're going to stay on E minor to C to G, and along with that, you're going to do the picking the way we've been playing the chorus, and you're going to do that four times all over again. All right. That's the ending of the song, right? So in the very end, the fourth time, E minor, C, and then G, once again, and then in the very end, just pick the top note once again, the top string, and that will end the song, all right? So let's play once again the final chorus. Let's play the second part of the final chorus, the, the one where you start picking. So that is it. That's how you play the A team by Ed Sheeran. This was not the easiest song ever because I've shown you how to play it, kind of the way it's played in the in the original song, which is you know, by finger picking. So you can also, if you want, you can just strum through the song if you want, because the finger picking is also doing. So you can replace it by down, 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 down and you know go through the whole song that way. Hope you liked the lesson. Make sure to check out how to play more Ed Sheeran songs in my channel. There are lots of them. Thanks for all your support, all the feedback, all the likes, the comments. I really appreciate all of that. I'll see you guys now in another lesson. Till then, take care and goodbye.